Hey Aries, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. Hopefully you're having some fun. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box about my channel. Uh, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If it resonates, uh, check it out if you like. Uh, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All of that info is below as well. So want to say thank you, Aries, for all of your likes, your shares, uh, supporting my channel, following me here on YouTube. Uh, it does help me connect with you, and so just want to say I appreciate you and thank you. So with that, Aries, let's pull some cards here. This is from the Gaia Oracle deck. All right, that's a nice energy. Ah, that one is too. Let's see what the third card is. Oh, really nice. Okay. So let's see what you got here. So, you have uh, number 26, which is eight. You have peace. Dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts, all right? So really this is about, you know, trying to stay positive, put that positive intention out in the universe, right? What we think about, we attract. Right, but I do feel the energy here feels very peaceful. Uh, it does feel like there's something here that's changing. Now it can be around your thinking. Something may be changing here and it's gonna give you a different perception about things, but I feel it's an energy that something's about to happen here that's bringing a lot of peace and happiness. And also um, possibilities is what I'm getting there as well. Now you have number 37, which is 10. You have the nine of hearts. This is about fulfillment, harmony, and protection. So I, I do get an energy here too. Uh, you're being protected at this time. Uh, I do feel from uh, your angels here, your spirit. And there may be something here coming into the work, something that you've been very hopeful about. Now I feel with the peace card they're saying here to keep positive thoughts here. There may be something here you've been hoping for and wishing for. And I do feel like there is some sort of change here. You have number 37, which is 10. It's telling me there's change, there's possibilities here, and I feel there's there's a new cycle coming up here for you. You have number 45, which is nine, and this is about evolution. So this is definitely about change, transformation. I'm also going to say here too, Aries, uh, because this can be about earth changes and climate change. Uh, you know, maybe you live somewhere where you've been dealing with a lot of climate change. Uh, or you could be someone who is very active, um, you know, in environmentalism. Okay, so that may be a specific message for some of you. So let's see what the tarot has to say for you, Aries. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Aries? And if I didn't say it already, in the extended, we will look at uh, your person uh, what they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love notes, and guidance. I will also say that um, if new love shows up, we'll look at new love uh, in the extended as well. Because some of you, you know, not all of you, is it going to be about a specific person here? Okay, so we have here uh, five of pentacles. We have the nine of wands. We have the three of cups. We have the death card. We have the Ace of Swords, and we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of change. Uh, I see communication, a new beginning here. You do have the Six of Wands, which is a great energy because it's telling me here that this is leading to something very successful. It's the, it's the victory card here. Now, we have your energy here, Aries. We have Leo. We have Sagittarius. We have strong Scorpio, we have Cancer, Pisces, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We also have here Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, so first two cards we have is the Five of Pentacles and we have the Death card, okay? So this is telling me, again, you know, transformation. Another message here of transformation. So something's coming to the to an end here. And I feel it's the end of something that was lacking, okay, with this five of pentacles. So it can be 
uh, an end to something difficult that you've been dealing with, something you've been feeling maybe wasn't working out, maybe uh, you know a situation where maybe you weren't getting the attention you needed, I'm going to say. Some of you, I feel like this could be a money situation too, right? Uh, for a lot of you, I do feel it will be love, but I'm going to say this could be a change in your money, right? Coming out of a, a place of feeling lack. So we're going to clarify. We're going to see what that's about. It could be here, uh, somebody here, you know, who didn't value you, all right? But let's see what we got. We have the Nine of Wands and we have the Ace of Swords. So yeah, there's some sort of breakthrough here. And this may be a breakthrough that you've been waiting for, Aries. I feel um, there may be some sort of challenge or difficulty that you've recently gone through. And this is going to be the breakthrough or new start I see here with this change and this transformation. As I said, uh, you know, there's some sort of energy here of peace and happiness. Because look at that. You have the Three of Cups here as well celebration, happiness, things coming together. Well, let's see what else we have. Now we have the three of cups and we have the nine of cups. So there's some sort of offer or proposal here that is coming your way. I'm going to say, you know, some of you, this may not be about love, but some of you it is. Okay. So I feel like this is something you've been waiting for, something you've been hoping for, uh, something that maybe you've had this goal but it does look very successful here. It's, you know, it's definitely a victory card. You have the full card creating a new beginning and it's bringing, look at that, a lot of happiness there with the Ten of Cups. Look at that, the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you may be getting some sort of offer that's going to lead to something more stable financially. Some of you I do get this is uh, some is having to do with love. Some sort of offer coming your way that's leading to uh, something stable. So definitely something is evolving here, changing. So let's see if we can get some more specific details. I am going to clarify Aries, and after I clarify, I am going to uh, pull some cards from the Kipper to see uh, what other details we have. So I'm going to start with that Five of Pentacles, or we'll just ask, why is the Five of Pentacles and the Death card here, please? Why is the Five of Pentacles and the Death card here, please? Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit, Strong Virgo Energy. There's that Five of Pentacles again. Five of Pentacles. And the Justice. Interesting. Strong Libra energy there as well. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah. There's definitely a change I feel that is coming. You're coming out of a place of where something was lacking. There was something here that you wanted or you needed and you weren't getting it. But that's coming to an end here because you have the Wheel of Fortune. This is telling me that there is definitely a shift, a change here. There is something about to transform a new beginning, a new cycle, and it's going in your favor is what it's showing me there. You also have here the Hermit and you have the Five of Pentacles. So maybe you've been spending some time alone. You've been really thinking about this, thing, about this right? Uh, maybe you have been feeling alone okay and no matter you know depending on what your circumstances is you know it could be financial or it could be a love situation here right um or somebody very close and dear to your heart you also have here the justice card so it tells me there's something uh that is about to change and shift here in your favor and actually bringing i'm going to say some good karma your way good karma or something that is fair and just right for you is the energy I get there, okay? Now you have the Knight of Swords. Oh, look at that. Six of Cups. So there's definitely some sort of communication I feel here that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Uh, some of you, this is, uh, you know, somebody here that's close to your heart here. And I'm going to say it could be anybody. It could be a child, a friend, um, you know, somebody here that you have memories with that you uh love and that 
you know, you've spent some time with, I guess. So there's communication coming here. Now, for some of you, you know, if this is love for you, I'm going to say it doesn't necessarily mean that this is uh, someone from your past returning. I will say for some of you, it is. Uh, some of you, I feel like this could be a connection or relationship that you're not ready to give up on. But I do see you getting some sort of communication from this person here. All right. Let's, uh, I'm going to clarify now uh, the Ace of Swords, all right? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here, please? Okay, Nine of Cups. That's that Nine of Hearts energy. So second time we're seeing that, Two of Wands. Look at that. Yeah, communication. That's what I was feeling there. And again, King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. There's definitely some sort of communication that's bringing a new beginning here, right? Leading to something very successful. Uh, like I said, some of you, it could be a career situation, a money situation, a love situation. We'll get more details when we use the, the Kipper deck, but Nine of Cups, Two of Wands, and the Page of Wands, right? Some sort of new beginning or communication here is leading you in a new direction. Something that you've been hoping for or wishing for. I feel you too, you're going to feel very passionate about it. This is a breakthrough for you. This is a breakthrough taking you out of a place where you were feeling lack or you were feeling left behind or you know somebody here wasn't value you. Something you're going to be excited about is what I get. Something fair and right to you. You know, a, a, you know good karma I feel change things evolving here let's see what this knight of cups is let's see what this offer is what's this knight of cups here for aries what can you tell aries why is the knight of cups here please you have the magician you have um the seven of pentacles the tower and we're going to pull one more the eight of cups all right, Queen of Pentacles. All right, I love this Queen of Pentacles in this deck. It's like a very majestic, right? She's sitting on her tree throne there, <laughs> right? Beautiful uh, crystals below her, and it's not about male, male or female, right? Uh, this is something here that is coming your way. It's an offer I feel that's going to put you in a good position, whether it's financially, whether it's a love situation here. It's bringing some sort of um, stability. I also feel here confidence, right? Bringing you some sort of maybe security is the word that I'm looking for there, okay? Now, so let's break this down, uh, clarifying that Knight of Cups, okay? If this is having to do, we're going to start with career. If this is having to do with career, this is something I feel that you've been waiting for. Maybe you've invested a lot of time into it. If it's searching for a job or if it's some sort of business, you know, maybe you're starting a business here. There's some sort of new beginning here. And look at that. Three of Wands, all right? I just said here, something you've been waiting for. Your ships are coming in. Okay, but this also can be an offer coming towards you that's opening uh, a lot of possibilities here. Now with the Tower and the Eight of Cups, is this is showing me that whatever wasn't working in the past as it relates to career or money here, right? You're walking away from that because there was something um, chaotic about it. There was something that wasn't working right you're not you weren't satisfied about it and and here comes a new offer here that there, it's going to be something to celebrate now i'm also going to say here too and it can be something here that you're rebuilding i'm going to say that as well right exploring other options because here comes a new option or an offer here uh leading you to something that you can start new and invest in right invest your time energy maybe even money but I'm also going to say if this is love, I feel this offer, um, you know, I was on the fence whether it could be new love or somebody that you know. I feel, you know, potentially could go either way, okay? It could be a situation where there's this new offer, you know, someone new coming into your life and love, and you decide to 
to go with it, right? To maybe go out with this person, go on a date, right? Um, invest your time with this new person. It's creating a new beginning. And maybe you're walking away from something in the past that just wasn't working, right? And it may be that uh, it wasn't the right timing, right? And this person came into your life. Now, I'm going to say for others, this is someone definitely who could be returning. Somebody that may have walked away, right, with this Five of Pentacles, right? Wanting to invest here with you, wanting to reconnect. Uh, possibly here an apology here with the Justice card, I'm going to say somebody who's wanting to reconcile, okay? So uh, with that, Aries, we'll know more in the extended, right? Uh, whether it's, you know, uh, where this situation is going. Um, I will look at new love in the, in the extended as well. So let's pull some Kipper cards here and see what other details we can get for you. Ooh. I'm going to say, and also too, it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. Okay. Um, you have here wealthy man, you have change, and you have distant horizons. Okay. I feel for some of you, if this is having to do with, um, you know, money career here, there's a change, this opportunity um, there's going to be a change in your wealth, right? This may be leading you, and and uh, when I when it says distant horizons, I feel an energy here, something that um, is going to lead to more opportunities, or you're going to be able to expand. Some of you, this may be on a global level. I'm going to say some of you, you may even have to travel. But the the money here is definitely worth it. Now, if this is a love situation, um, I get the energy here that uh, this could be somebody who lives at a distance from you. Uh, some of you, I feel here too, this can be about, uh, there's going to be a change in the stability here of this connection. Uh, with the distance horizons here, I feel that there's definitely more possibilities here and also can be that energy of your ships coming in here so really really nice energy so let's pull um a few more cards and see what else comes out for you what else does aries need to know what else does aries need to know yeah look at that okay so what I see here, you have here uh, toil and labor, poverty. Yeah, so th if this is having to do with money, you're coming out of a place of poverty. I see a change here. You do have concern, all right? So there's some, I, I feel there's a birth of something new, something new or a new beginning or, you know, a job change or, or you know, something like that or a business. And I feel like you are going to feel a little bit concerned about it, but the, the energy that's showing me here, this is leading you to more options, more possibilities, more growth in your money and, and you know, coming out of a place that, you know, maybe things were stagnant or there wasn't uh, a whole lot of money here, okay? So I feel that. Now, if this has to do with uh, love, right, because somebody here is returning, I feel a situation where, you know, you're kind of looking back at the effort that the person put in in the past, or you're looking at, um, you know, maybe what they didn't do or what was lacking here, and, and that's a cause for concern for you. So I feel like that's going to be on your mind here, but it's showing here a change, right, around stability, security here. So we'll see in the extended, I'm going to say here you have house. So some of you may be making a home move or, um, you know, the change in your career or money, you know, whether it's a move, maybe you're able to buy a home. Uh, and for some of you, if this is, you know, for love, this could be some sort of home move, you know, move in together or buy a house together, something like that. So let's take this to the extended Aries. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.